Hello, I'm Linnea Shea, the Engineering Librarian for Data and Collections. In this video, I will give a brief introduction to Deep Research, a new search platform that is replacing XSearch. Both XSearch and now Deep Research pull results from multiple content databases and present them together in a common interface. Stanford's instance of Deep Research pulls from about 100 sources focusing on science and engineering, including commonly used journal indexes and other databases for patents, technical reports, books, data, and more. To get started, go to deepresearch.amplify.com. The first thing you'll see is a login screen. Use your Stanford email address, which will become your Deep Research account. Hit continue and it will take you through the SUNet login flow. After an acknowledgement page, you'll be taken to this source setup. By default, Deep Research will search all 100 sources, but if you like to use a custom selection, you can set that up here. The set you choose will be your personal default for all your searches, but it's easy to get back here and change them again later. We can choose topics by category. Uh, the industry categorization is sort of like subject. Uh, we have earth, engineering, science, and you can also specifically search for funding opportunities. The source type uh, categorization is more like format. So A and I, these are our abstract and index databases. So here you'll find your very big journal databases like uh, PubMed, Scopus, Web of Science. Um, there's the, the data category, um, also of interest, full text. So your publisher websites that contain the full text for their content, uh, like ACS publications, IEEE, ScienceDirect. Once you're satisfied with your set, the set you've picked, they'll, they'll appear here on the right in a final list. Uh, I didn't exclude anything, so I've got all 96, and I can hit Save and Continue. From there, we'll uh, land on the main search page. You can use a basic keyword search from here or go to the advanced search, which I tend to use. I am going to do a search for lithium ion battery. I've used quotations, uh, Boolean operators and an or also work here. I will take date range, uh, just the last couple of years, 2019 and up. Down at the bottom, I have my list of sources that I've selected. Uh, I can refine the list here, or if I click the edit sources, it'll go back to the source setup page. If I'm satisfied with everything, I will hit my search button. Deep Research will go and get the top results from each one of your sources. It displays some initial results so you can get going, uh, but it's still looking for more in the background. So some things you can do here, we can limit our sources more. Oh, it finished searching. So click that banner to get all the results. Great. So it looks like 54 of our sources uh, found something for this search. Uh, we can narrow our selection here. Um, you can also further narrow the date range. Let's say I only want uh, items from this year, 2021. And over here on the right, we have our topic wheel. Um, so Deep Research has identified a number of subtopics within our lithium ion battery search. And we can click on them to uh, select one. Here, there's an electric vehicles. Let's select that and we'll find my results. You can see that as you're doing your filtering, we, we have a breadcrumb trail uh, here in the topic wheel area. And if you wanna go back to your original search, you can hit the reset button. So I'm really liking some of these top results and I wanna save them. Uh, you can select all or click the checkbox next, next to articles you wanna keep and hit this bookmark icon here to save them. You have a default folder called ungrouped, but we can create a new folder. I'll just call it same as my search. Create, and now we can add items to that folder. Also, once I, I have a search query that I really like and I wanna get updates as new content is released, 
So let's make an alert for this search as well. You can choose to get your alerts by email or just with the in-app notifications. We'll just take the notification uh, and daily or weekly. I'll choose weekly and create my alert. So notifications will pop up here in, uh, at this bell icon next time you uh, log into uh, Deep Research. And finally, where did my uh, saved items and searches go? They went to my library. Here we can then save results. We can see my lithium ion battery folder uh, and click to see my results there. And for the alerts, I now have an alert called lithium ion battery. It is active. I, I can deactivate it here. I can edit to change uh, some of the preferences, or I can delete it by clicking the X. And that is a brief introduction to the new Deep Research platform. Feel free to contact any of the science and engineering librarians if you have questions or want some help getting started.